What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to New Star Soccer G-Story Episode 1. Um, Five Aces Publishing have released this brand new game which looks like a storybook that you're in control of or in this instance that I'm in control of. I have bought it, it does cost $2.99 but hopefully it's going to be worth it and if like if New Star Soccer is anything to go by it's definitely going to be worth your money. So I have got it, we're going to open it. And um, we're going to go with it. We're going to go from the beginning. Now, I can't actually hear it, which is quite frustrating. I might have to I might have to put my other headphones in as well and see if I can listen to the audio. Because if there's audio for this and I can't hear it, that would be a bit frustrating. Unless I do this. Okay, that's more like it. I can hear this. You guys might be able to hear this as well. I'll figure out the, um, I'll figure out the audio afterwards. But, New Star Soccer G Story. Swipe. Play, practice, options. Let's start with options. We'll see what we've got in the options. We'll tap play to start. All right, we'll tap play to start. We, we won't do anything else. New career. Enter your first name. First name is uh, Nepo. Last name. Is there a done? Last name, Monster. Done. Choose league. We are going to go to the English leagues. Choose team. Where's Arsenal? Boom. We are going to go to Arsenal. Tap to choose your appearance. Keep tapping to cycle through options. Oh, I see. Um, oh, yeah, yo, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. Let's go back. Let's start again. Let's delete that career. Delete career. Yes, there we go. Uh, new career. Let's do this again. Uh, Nepo Monster. England. And we want to tap. Hey, that looks a little bit like me. There we go. And then uh, enter your player details and swipe to turn the page. Where, whereabouts do you turn the page? Swipe. Choose team. Arsenal. Swipe. There we go. I like this. I like this so far. Right. Prologue. Swipe left or tap near the edge of the page to advance. So we'll tap. Life is all about choices. Good or bad. Right or wrong. We all have to make them. Every choice you make alters who you are and what you might become. Chapter 1 park life let's go it's the last minute of the cup final the balls on my feet as i'm running down the wing at full pelt with my team surging forward behind me the seats in the stadium chatter clatter great reading the panthers as the fans get to their feet in expectation a defender slides in recklessly as i close in on the 18 yard box but i carry the ball past him easily i look up just once as a goalkeeper rushes out to shut me down and pick my spot my legs blur as I pull the trigger and lash the ball past the keeper's outstretched hands. The ball streaks through the air, arching towards the top corner and sending the crowd into a whooping frenzy. Goal. I've just won the cup for Arsenal. My teammates congratulate me, spinning and shaking me. Whoa, wait a minute. Who's this old guy? Is this already taking shots at me because I'm old, because I'm 31. What's a bus driver doing on the football pitch? Wakey, wakey, sleepyhead. You must have missed your stop. You're at the bus depot. Oh, damn it. I'm supposed to be playing in a real football match at my local park. What a great story we've got so far. Chapter one. Our manager, who we call the gaffer, spots me as I come running across the park. I didn't know this would actually be a story that I'm reading, by the way, guys. So I'm just going to read it. I'm just going to do the story here. If you want to listen, go ahead. If you don't, I understand. But we're going to go through it anyway. Late for the warm-up again, he shouts. I won't need a warm-up this time. I'm already sweating like a racehorse. He gives me a balling out, half of which I'm not even listening to because I've heard it all before. Plus, try not to laugh as my mates are mucking about behind him. He finally runs out of insults. I need 110% from you lot. This is a grudge match. He's right. My team, Blaze Rangers, are playing the Royals. Last time we met there were 10 yellow cards and 4 reds. Right, says the gaffer. Let's see if you bought your shooting boots today. Drag the ball to aim and... So, I guess this is say This is just much better graphics than the regular new Star Soccer. That's what's up. Boom. Go. I love that. Nicely done, says the gaffer. Good to see all my hard work hasn't gone to waste. I'm pretty pleased with my shooting, especially when I'm only wearing a pair of banged up boots. I bend down to tie up a loose lace and see that the rules are warming up in the opposite goal. The net bulges every time one of them shoots. Hopefully that means their keeper is no good. Come on, says the gaffer. Get those laces tied. We haven't got all day. The gaffer is pointing at some cones. Let's see what your dribbling's like. So again, I assume there's a timer. It's, it's just nice graphics. I like that. Success. It's, I guess this is like teaching me how to play the game again. How is that, I ask? The gaffer smiles. Not bad. Reminds me of when I was your age. Many, many, many years ago. I can make the ball talk. Did I ever tell you I got a trial? 
What was it a criminal one? I say laughing. Oh, you're funny, says the gaffer. Only as criminal as your jokes. Remind me to drop you next match. Bit savage, bit savage. He puts the ball down. This is a dead ball situation. I hold back the urge to put another wisecrack and get ready to take the free kick. Do, 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 do. No, that should be in the back of the net. I don't, I don't want to tap for curve. I just want to shoot. Goal. Your boy's just too sick. Enough. Good enough, says the gaffer. I think it could be a bit more enthusiastic than that. It's not easy getting around a well-positioned wall, but the gaffer isn't one to go overboard with praise. Scoring from a free kick is all about spotting the defender's weaknesses, he goes on. Shows your thinking. Yes, I am. I'm thinking that's enough practice. Let's get on with the game. I spot the ref coming out of the change rooms. Maybe he heard me. We finished the warm-up as ref signals for the teams to get into position. The gaffer calls us together. Get around here, he says. Am I a good storyteller? Let me know in the comment section below. Drop a thumbs up if I'm a good storyteller. Drop a thumbs down if I'm a bad one. We do what he says because it makes him feel like a proper manager. Wondering what his inspirational team talk is going to consist of this afternoon. His words of wisdom are legendary. When the tough get going, the going gets tough. It's not over till the fat lady blows her whistle. They score two. We score three. We win. Simple as that. Who is this? Michael Owen. You should be proud to wear that shirt. I'm not very proud to wear this shirt. The gaffer says it's genuine replica. A genuine replica. Ba banter. Genuine replica. Wait. You, 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 can't, you can't hit me with like genuine replica Real Madrid shirt. You could have put Real Madrid on that first page there. But we'll call it a genuine fake Madrid shirt because he bought a box load down the market. The gaffer stares at us. He's got a weird look in his eyes that tells us today's team talk is going to be different. He just nods his head like one of those toy dogs in the back of a car. We're looking at each other thinking he's finally gone totally gaga when he says today lads could change your life i look at him wondering where he's going from here how i ask over there he points to a bloke in a padded jacket standing on a touchline know who that is of course we don't we're idiots we're all looking dumb and shrug no he's a scout from arsenal the royals manager reckons he's here to look over one of their players maybe sign him up for a trial a trial well, that doesn't go down well with us who have they got that's any good, I ask. We're better than them. The gaffer nods. Exactly. So if you play well, maybe he could be looking at you. Looking at me, looking at you, looking at me. Takes a few seconds for his words to sink in. I'd love to get that trial at Arsenal. That's what dreams are made of. Playing for your club in a professional footballer, as a professional footballer, then being picked for your country and captaining it and winning the World Cup. And whoa, slow down. I think, slow down, I think. I think that doesn't happen in real life. That does happen in real life. Some people win the World Cup, you know what I'm saying? Footballers are picked up when they're young, then they go to the club's academies, and some, just some, go on to play for the club, and even fewer play for their country. Those that make it were practically playing footy when we were born. Me, I have to bother about studying part-time jobs. Like, that's going to happen, I say. Stranger things have happened, says the gaffer. Dreams come true, but you've got to take the chances that come your way, and... Make the right choices. Hold on to your dreams, lads. His eyes have gone all misty. It's freaking me out. Ah, that sounds like a cheap pop song. I laugh. But he has a point. It would be a dream come true. Chapter 2. Scout around. How many chapters will we do? We're 8 minutes in. We'll do like 2, maybe 3 chapters. I don't know. We'll see what we get. I try not to think about Arsenal scout as we take our places on the pitch. I'm in my preferred position in midfield. No, that's not my preferred position. Striker. The pitch is fairly exposed in the park and there's a breeze blowing that brings a smell of local Chinese takeaway with it. The ground is pretty well cut up and the turf is patchy in places. I wonder how much grip my boots will actually give me. As soon as the ref blows his whistle to start the game, the Royals front man is running around like crazy, yelling for the ball. Seriously, could he be more obvious? It's okay trying to impress the scout, but it's not as if he's getting into space or drawing defenders out of position. The game has only just started. It's then that I decide to play my usual game. Well, hopefully it'll be a bit, bit better than that. The Royals have the ball over the far side and I slowly track the player as they pass it around. The player on the ball finally concedes and passes it forward to their mouthy striker who promptly loses it to a challenge from our left back. Can't help but laugh. He's not happy though, I'm blaming the quality of the ball into him and he's doing it loudly enough for everyone to hear. Our defenders clears upfield and the ball bubbles through me. There are three Royals players between their goal and me. I could try a darting run which might leave them for dead and then smash the ball into the roof of the net and score what the TV commentators call a fantastic individual goal. Or more likely, I'll get taken out by one of them. Just as I'm pushing forward, Jono slips in a great position ahead of me, so I decide to pass the ball quickly. The pitch is pretty muddy. Should I slot the ball along the ground or lift it into the air? And I guess this is a uh, pass the teammates to keep help the possession and score. So we'll pass it into Jono. Boom. Lovely ball. Pass. Success. 
Good ball, yells the gaffer. And he's right, there's some sporadic clapping from the sidelines too. I'm pleased with that. A pass the feet from the distance is pretty good and I put it where Jono could run onto it. Shame he couldn't do more with it. The ball got stuck under his feet and he was still trying to dig it out when the defender came in from the side and hoofed it away. There must be a boggy spot on the pitch over there. I file that information away for later. There's no point dropping a perfect ball into a swamp where it'll just get stuck. Beep. The ref blows for a free kick for the Royals. As the Royals get ready to take the free kick, their forward is at it again. Glance over to the scout to see what he's doing, but the guy isn't even watching. He's talking to the bloke next to him. I gave my head a shake. The breeze picks up just as they whip the ball along. They've obviously decided the pitch is no good for a quick passing game. The ball flies over my head and the Royals front man jumps for it with our mark, with Mark even, our centre back who we call Roadblock. There's only going to be one outcome. Seconds later, the Royals player is rolling around on the ground screaming like he's been hit by a truck. Roadblock clears the ball to me and I turn and run onto it. With a player moving in to close me down, time to offload. All oh, right, I'm going to do that. Good old Jamal. Whoop. Boom. Jamal, come on, bro. Jamal, yeah, like, get busy. Get busy, Jamal. Well, I think I must have kicked a clod of mud before I hit the ball because that didn't go where it was supposed to. Pitch is beginning to more, look more like a motocross track. It's, throw, it's a throw into the Royals. Jamal presses the ball as lobbed in and hurried back pass from the Royals. Back fails to find its intended target. It's a giveaway corner to us, but who's complaining? Our skipper signals me to take the corner. There's usual jostling and shirt tugging in the penalty area. The ref is going to have a tough job to keep an eye on things. A couple of our players are in good positions, but they're tightly marked. I look up, choose my target, and mutter a quick prayer. Get on the end of this. So I guess I'm taking the corner. We'll pop it out to the dude, uh, the dude out wide here. Nice bit of power on him. Boom. Lovely ball. Dude, dude, go and get the ball. That's just lazy. That's just lazy. Oh, what was that? The gaffer holds his head in his hands. What a wasted chance. I've been so bad so far. A glance as the scout and I jog back into position. I got... Oh, wait, 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 wait. My, my reading is pretty bad. The, I'm, I'm doing all right, considering I didn't expect to be reading a book here, but I'm doing all right. A glance at the scout as I jog back into position, but he's just sip, sipping tea from a flask. Did he see that corner? To be honest, I reckon the cross was okay, but Clarkie was a bit slow to react. Didn't exactly show great communication, though. We'll have to get our signalling sorted for the next dead ball situation. I wonder how the scout from Arsenal will view it. We deserve more from this half. We've had the better possession and all of the opportunities in front of goal. Like the gaffer says, when the luck's not with you, all you can do is keep plugging away and not give up. But it's still nil-nil and we should have something to show for all our hard work. It's nearly half time when one of our midfielders makes a wild clearance. But I get a lucky break and the ball drops right at my feet. Here goes, I think. This time I've got space to take a shot. Defenders are coming at me like wolves that smell an easy meal. But I've got time to look up and shape my body so I can put the ball where I want it. And this is us, mate. This is us. This is bottom corner stuff. Boom. He shoots. He scores. That's what I like to see. It's in. The keeper claws at the air as my strike loops past him and crashes into the net. I haven't scored a goal like that in ages. Must be the extra pressure of the scout watching over my shoulder or an angel sitting on it. Our players are all over me like a rash as we celebrate and high five back into our half. The Royals players look sick to have conceded just before the break. Their coach looks like he's about to rupture something. The Arsenal scout has got to have seen that keen strike. We hold off the Royals next attack as the ref blows a whistle for half time. I reckon we could be pleased with the way things have gone. Wouldn't say there have been any standout performances, but we're winning at the halfway point, so we must be doing something right. I'm the last to go in over and grab a drink. When I look up, I see the scout from Arsenal looking at me. Not talking, not drinking tea, but looking right at me. To be honest, just for a minute, I completely forgotten that he was there. I head over to where the gaffer has gathered the team. Clarkie must have spotted the scout watching me because he's started making jokes about it being love at first sight. He's only jealous though. I'm only half listening to what the gaffer's saying and I think more about the scout. Should I be trying harder to impress him? Making myself more visible? Have I been a bit too casual? Better just keep at it. He's not here to look at us anyway, although we have been playing better than the Royals. Do your talking on the pitch, the gaffer says. They're going to come out for us early on. They want to impress the scout. We can tease them out of it and hit them on the break. The gaffer's half-time team talks are the stuff of a legend. He usually comes out with a cracker and doesn't disappoint this time. The next goal is going to be really important, he says. No kidding. Let's hope it's ours then, I add. We're back on the field. Can't call it a pitch for the start of second half. It's our kickoff and Jono passes the ball back to me. Two players moving quickly to close me down, so I move forward into the gaps as they leave, hoping as if I hoping if I can at least retain possession and move the ball up. It might give me a chance to pass into the danger area. Time to remember all that work around the cones. I guess this is me dribbling now, so I'm gonna have to dribble, 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 dribble. Oh, oh, it's Tekkers. He's got too many Tekkers, that's what's up. 
Feels like the ball is connected to my feet with invisible elastic. Bubbles about but stays under control. There's space ahead of me to get into a shooting position, but the Royals number four is moving across quickly in an attempt to force me out wide. Jamal is up in support if I want to pass, although his market is still with him. Why would I, what, why would I pass to Jamal there? This, is, this has got goal written all over it, man. Love a bit of that. Love a bit of that. Boom. He's done it again. It's two. He's back two. He's back two. Oh, yes. Pick that one out. Jamal comes over to slap me on the back and Jono joins in. The gaffer is jumping up and down, going so red in the face, it looks like it's about, he looks like he's about to have a coronary. Me, I'm just walking on air as we head back for the restart with a two-goal lead. From the whistle, the Royals pile on the pressure. I've spent all my time pinned back in our half and thoughts of impressing the scout have disappeared as we dig in and fight them off. Some players are taking the fight more literally than others, but there's still only been three yellow shown. Their goal finally comes from a corner. All it took was a slight lapse in concentration. Our goalie came to punch, missed, and it went in. Now there's just a single goal in it, so we rally round. We have to hold on to our lead. Five minutes left on the clock. Not that we have a clock. The pavilion one was vandalised years ago. What we have is a gaffer jumping up and down and holding up five fingers, so he's either got cramp in his hand. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> he's dying, drying his nail varnish, or he means there's five minutes left. Five minutes to make sure we beat the wheels, and if we ever get out of our own half, five minutes in which, five minutes in which to impress the scout. Then it happens. Jono breaks forward with the ball after intercepting a long pass across field. He runs almost down the line where the grass is less torn up, leaving defenders to scurry to make up ground. Jamal and I take off after Jono in support, moving towards the middle in anticipation of a cross ball. He's almost run out of pitch. Come on, Jono, cross it. Bit of weight on the cross, so a fly better and a nice height for me, please. And we are going to head to this near post OP. Boom. Lovely. Oh, hat trick complete, boys. We've done it. We've done it. We've completed it. Goal! An awesome ball in from Jono, and it's just a nod in from me. We've got them on the run now, definitely. Jono, Jamal, and I are in a huddle as we head back to the centre circle. Jono's laughing because I've got all this mud on my forehead now. Our teammates come over. The relief of having our two goal lead back is obvious. The Royals defenders are spitting blood and blaming each other. Their mouthy forward tries to get in our faces, but their captain moves him away. The gaffer shouts from the touchline, nice to see you using your head. Bates and banter, that is. There can't be long left now with two goal cushion. We're quite happy to bring down the shutters on the game. But then things turn nasty. Their mouthy forward slides in on Clarky and complete, completely tackles him out. Suddenly, both teams are in each other's faces and I step in to try and cool the situation down. Clarky's back up on his feet like a shot and shoves a Royal player over. He hits the ground as though he's been head -bired. The ref gives the Royals player a yellow, even though it's clearly a red, and shows Clarky a straight red. That can't be fair. I can feel the hairs on the back of my neck rise and there's more shoving going on. The ref blows his whistle several times and somehow manages to bring things to order. Once the heat has died down, we set ourselves to defend the free kick. The free kick comes in and I leap to intercept. Oh, seems easy enough. It's, it's, it's just a header. All of that, just for a header. Boom. No, idiot baby, what are you doing? I easily head the ball away and out of play. The ref gives three blasts on his whistle and we've won the match. The gaffer comes over to congratulate us. Winning by a two goal margin was the best we've ever done against the Royals. Maybe it was the influence of the scout. Hey, perhaps we could get a scout along to every game if that's how you're going to play, the gaffer suggests. Yeah, but within a few games you'd have no one left in the team because they'll be all off to playing for Tottenham, Villa or Palace, I say. My teammates laugh. In your dreams, he says. I hang around outside the pavilion chatting with some of the players and hoping that the Arsenal scout will have something to say to me. Something good, I mean. Then I hear the gaffer calling my name and I look up. He's standing over there with a the scout. Jono nudges me and I get up slowly and jog over. The scout gives me a nod. You did okay, he says to me. His voice is low, gravelly, like he's smoked way too many cigarettes. He doesn't smile. I wonder if he ever does. Wait for him to add something. Is, is that it? What should I say? I don't know, so I just say, thanks. He glances over at the gaffer and then he says something that sets my heart racing. Give me your details, he says. I'll be in touch. I get home and throw a mac and cheese in the microwave. I'm still buzzing from today's events. Who'd have thought this morning that I'd be watched this afternoon by a scout from Arsenal? I tweet a couple of messages and text mates with the news. I can't wait to see their faces. They won't believe me, of course. No one else is in, so I head upstairs, watch a bit of TV on my laptop, and then it's lights out. I can hardly sleep. Keep seeing the stony face scout and events from the match are playing round and round in my head like the action replay from hell. The simple fact is that Arsenal scout must see hundreds of players over a season, probably thousands. Was I really better than most of them? Eventually, I must have fallen asleep because next thing I know it's morning and the alarm on my mobile is playing the theme to match of the day. Pick up the phone to hit snooze just as it pings with messages. I check my inbox. Me and mates going round more to chill. See you there. Jen. Fucking Jen. She's trying to, she's trying to ruin my career. 
be out tonight. Food in fridge, mum. Well, thanks, mum. You could have let me know that a bit earlier. New messages reads: Trial tomorrow. Arsenal training ground starts 9 a.m. Be there. I reread the message from the boss again and again. I can't believe it. I've actually got a trial with Arsenal. And that is the end of chapter two, guys. And that at 20 minutes will be the end of this video. I guess the chapters are relatively long. So what I'm going to do is do one chapter per episode if you guys enjoy it. If you're enjoying this, drop a thumbs up. If you want to see more of the storybook style of the New Star Soccer G, G series, G book, then uh, let me know in the comment section below. If you don't think this is going to be your thing, let me know and we can put an end to it. But I'm having fun reading it having fun playing with it. Hopefully it gets a bit more exciting, a bit more action, but it should be quite fun to do. This is going to be the end of the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.